What's up, everyone? It's your Captain Cheppy here. I just wanted to get into some description before we get into the full gameplay of Arcade Spirit. What if the 1983 video game market crash never happened? Set in 2000XX, Arcade Spirits is a visual novel romantic comedy with a different history where arcades still reign supreme as the ultimate place to play. After a period of turbulent employment, your character starts an exciting new job at the Funplex, a popular local arcade with a team of staff that are eccentric as the customers. From fierce programmers and dedicated high score chasers to creative cosplayers and tinkering programmers, the neon lights and buzzing atmosphere of the Funplex is welcome home to many. But where will this newfound employment opportunity take you? Who will you meet along the way? And will you finally find the romance you've been seeking? So that's right, Arcade Spirits is a visual novel, but not just any visual novel, actually. Arcade Spirits also has dating simulator elements with seven different characters who can be romanced or just befriended. Romance is completely optional in this game. You don't actually have to do it at all if you don't want to. Uh, nearly all dating simulators require you to undertake some kind of mandatory romance encounter, but uh, Arcade Spirits uh, is actually unique in the genre that you don't actually have to at all. It's one of the parts of the game if you want to be in the romance, if you want to get all romanced and everything like that, then you're more than welcome to, but this game isn't all revolved around that which I find that is pretty cool, actually. Thank you, guys, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. I really want to say thank you to Arcade Spirits for giving me an early access code and being able to stream this and actually be able to make videos on this game. It's a really great pleasure to have the opportunity to play this game and especially to show you guys what it's like to play this game just so then you can see for yourself. But I will say make sure you choose your own choices and don't just follow mine just so you could get a different ending. Because like I said, depending on the choices you make, it's a different ending for everyone. So make sure you go ahead and do that. And again, I really want to thank Arcade Spirits for giving me the opportunity to play this game uh, before it was fully released on for consoles. It was an amazing opportunity, and thank you so much. But guys, let's just get into the video. So I guess I'll see you guys in the video. <laughs> Sometimes I get swept up in a good story. I mean, I gotta find some way to make this job more interesting. Is it really that dull here? No, not really. I just kind of get different kind of excitement than beeps and boobs, screaming children and broken machines. You're really painting the best picture here. Ah, jeez, I don't mean to be a downer. I just want to move up in the world. I've got things to accomplish, dreams to fulfill, cosplays to make. Cosplay? As we switch topics, it's like she's a completely different person. Ashley's light eyes light up and she smiles. Yeah, you know, like dressing up as your favorite video game or TV character. I love it. It's so empowering. You take... There's a fucking gnat. There's a gnat in my damn house. Sorry. It's even better when people recognize what character you are. Uh, this is this is an exclusive. Look at this shit that my best friend. Ah, oh, damn it! It went away. Oh shit! Sorry, my best friend totally just messaged me. My best friend totally just messaged me with uh, one of her graduation photos. She's graduating college. This is her second degree. We both got, we met in college, and she we got an associates together. Now she's getting a bachelor's, but she just sent me her graduation photo. <laughs> she's just she's just fucking with her. Uh, uh, she doesn't have a cap or gown on. She has a little sash of the university she's attending. It's just her with a fucking like a. I guess it's a champagne bottle, and she's chugging it. <laughs> I was like, God damn. God damn, that's my best friend right there. God damn. All right, hold on. Let me order food real quick, and then we'll continue on. Because I actually am really hungry. That's why I keep, like, I'm losing the energy. It's because I'm really hungry. Oh, what time is it? Almost six. Okay, good. Sorry, I still need to check in with my Animal Crossing today. <laughs> and I got to sell some stuff. At Nick's cranny, and I need it. God damn it! What am I looking for? Mm, whatever, I'll just show it to the stupid pot belly app. Ooh, 
Ooh, I could get a cookie again. <gasps> yes. That's exactly what I want. I want a cookie. Sorry, I'm getting pop bellies. If you guys don't know what pop bellies, it's like a sandwich shop where I am. And it's so good, dude. Oh, no. Crap, I gotta message my... There you go. Nice! Yes! Fuck, I didn't message him. I should've messaged him. Sorry, I should've messaged... I was just gonna message my... My boss today. Alright. Alright, now that food's being ordered, we're gonna play for, like, another... But we're gonna play for another 30 minutes and then we're gonna I'm gonna hop off for just like a couple hours just so I can eat and then I also do really need to check on uh, uh, my animal crossing because I haven't done that today Ow. I'm trying to I'm trying to build up my town because I stopped I literally started it and then I stopped playing for like three weeks which was really bad I yeah so I like I have such a young town now, like, compared to, like, all a lot of people. So, I'm just slowly trying to build up my stuff. Oh, I had an itchy back. Okay. It's so empowering to be able to make your own costume and wear it proudly. It's even better when people recognize what character you are. Empowering, really? Granted, you certainly had the power to stop my heart for a few beats. <laughs> Definitely. Do you want to try? Got a favorite vid game, video game? Blah, blah. Got a favorite game character? I can help you make your first cosplay if you want. In fact, I made this one. I think Ashley's pointing to her flamingo costume, but it's a little hard to tell with her hands as feathers. So, Pinky's your creation? Intentionally? Yep, it looks pretty good for my first co uh, mascot cosplay, doesn't it? Yep. I'm all thumbs when it comes to stuff like that, literally. If I get, a, if I get enough thread running between them. I'm pretty impressed, though, and I only was going on about craftsmen's craftsmanship of games clearly you're digging your craftsmanships into costumes oh thanks it's nice when hard work is appreciated i wear it around funplex to liven up the crowds get people pumped to play some games and the kids seem to adore it that makes sense although the arcade has been completely dead so far no crowds to pump or kids to be adored by hey secret between you and me ashley motions for me to come closer she leans in glancing around the room once and then talks in a hushed tone i did some repairs on pinky overnight I had to restitch the left arm, and I was giving her an old test drive to make sure it doesn't fall off. Huh. I'm spilling all the tea's bad. Oh, it was. Yesterday, I was dancing with a little girl. Must have been, like, five, six years max. Anyway, we were next to the Showtime stage when she tugged on my arm, and whoosh. Off came the arm. The girl instantly started bawling. Well, at least you were consistently scaring people, and it's not just me. No. Hey, now. I don't want that to happen again. I felt so bad. So bad. <laughs> but enough about me. What about you? So you're, you're Carl's replacement? I guess so. I'm the new floor attendant. I tend the floor. The floor is the thing I'm attending to when I'm not going to our uh, cardiac arrest. At least you're funnier than Carl, that's for sure. Can't wait to go home and tell Juniper I do have a sense of humor. She'll be so proud. I assume you've already met Francine, but have you had a chance to meet Gavin and Iom yet? Yeah, I met them already, though it seems like they aren't too keen on each other. Right? Ashley rolls her eyes and lets out a sigh. I wish I would hurry up and make out already. Yeah. Wait. What? Seriously? So, are they going out? Ha, <laughs> nope. They always bicker like an old married couple. It's like a classic anime cliche. The one who fights always end up together. Mark my words, Captain. Consider them marked. Beep, 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 beep Captain. Oh, I said wrong. Sorry. What's that sound? <sighs> Try. I sent an alarm for my lunch break was over. Try. Time to get back to the grindstone. I'm gonna get a chance to what? eat. No. That's no good. Captain needs her calories. You eat up. I'll go watch the floor. In fact, how about I take over the ticket desk for the, your next shift? For the next shift. You could do my job and wander the floor, but fair enough. Thanks. Ashley winks before her face disappears into her dark recess of the inhuman mask. As I'm whipping down the rice of the shape of a little heart. Wow, it occurs to me I didn't actually ponder my first impression of Ashley yet. Let's see. Ah, 
Ashley's pretty cool. I think she's cool. The way Ashley's whole expression change when she talks about things she's passionate about just warms my heart. Her beaming energy just lights up the whole room. I wonder if one day I'll be that excited about something. Anyway, with lunch in my belly and break time complete, the second half of my work day began. Rolling in the into the afternoon, the crowd starts to fill out. School's done, the late rising pros are heading out to the arcade of choice. With Ashley covering the desk, my job is to wander the floor looking for problems, or potential problems, or just making sure everything's A-OK. -okay. But for starters, it's a good moment to collect my thoughts. I think I'm off to a decent start with my coworkers. Good first impressions, at any rate. Corporation's gonna be a must. Cooperation, cop, wait. Cooperation, sorry, I don't know why I said corporation originally. Cooperation must, is going to be a must. I've had an awful co-workers before, and they can really drag you down your day. Hang on, it's time for daydreaming. I think I spot, let's see, three possible issues to look into. Uh, I should have time to get all of them, but which do I tackle first? Uh, let's start from the top. My mutual floor attendant sets his detect, uh, senses detect danger from the left-hand side of the arcade. I quickly rush all of the 30 feet to the scene of the crime already in progress. Come on! Hurry the f up! Finish your game! You- Do you work here? I saw you behind the desk earlier. Like, just so ask Gavin for a name tag here or something. Yes, I'm Captain Floor Attendant. Well, stop attending to the carpets and attend to me. I want this f to wrap up this damn game- This damn game so I can play. Ashley's face is obscured beneath her costume mask, but I can feel her wince as the man curses up a blue streak. Sir, there are children present. Please keep... Sorry, I thought I heard something outside my window. <laughs> Sir, there are children present. You kick this bat piece of uh off this game, and I'll sing Mary Had a Little Lamb all you want. Figuring out to hear the fat piece of eh uh, sides of story before rushing to judgment, I tap the boy on the shoulder. Oh, this dude. He doesn't even notice. So, why tap again? Twice. Hmm? Sir, there are other players waiting to give Mr. Mopey's magic maze a spin. Fiercely, the player looks up at the game marquee. Thank you, Naomi, which simply reads Mopey. You know the game's... F you know the game's full name? Sure, I played it a lot when I was a kid. It's actually called Mr. Mopey's Magic Maze, right? Uh, wizards and pellets and monsters and stuff? Yeah, a bit tur uh, tired see, as his layers focus on the game. I can see why. He's currently sitting at seven. Oh wow, seven hundred fourteen thousand nine hundred points. Holy crap! What the heck? That's a heck of a high score. Or the other guy would probably put it. Holy, bleh, that's a bleh of a high score. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, right, sir. Can you please wrap up your game? Hmm. Nope. I'm keeping a good pace here. Plenty of live stock, live stocks on a par for getting close to the world record before the kill screen. Somehow the thick arcade jargon sounds classier than the drape. In his British accent, I didn't know he's British. <laughs> like I'm watching some docu documentary program um, on uh, on the BBC. Yeah, but this is a public arcade. Other folks want to play. Uh, want to play the games too. He finishes clearing the current board while pondering the predicament. Okay. At first, I think he's stepping away to his game, but he's letting his stock of 50 extra dudes slowly deplete. And as he pulls out his wallet, without pause, he pulls out $3,000 in cash and holds it out. Will this cover it? For a moment, I flash back to the movie where some dude pays another dude to sleep with his wife, and they roll around in bed covered in money and, um... Cover what, exactly? the cost of the game the game itself i've never seen this much raw cast in one place at any given time it's even in its 20s dudes rolling in benjamins i um one moment please on it unfortunately iris already has a messenger app open for me with gavin's contact and preloaded with trembling fingers i key in customer wants to buy mopey for 3k what do in less than a minute i have a response considering we pay 200 for it Plus parts? Yes, absolutely. I saw that red like immediately. Well, okay then. Although, how's Nomi gonna react to this? Offloading one of the darlings just because Gavin wants to make a 50 fold profit? It also feels kind of weird to be taking advantage of this guy's lack of grasp on the real cost of an arcade, old arcade machine. I knew this all, all this workplace drama was gonna catch up to me at some point. 
With this rando breathing down my neck, I gotta make a decision. Yeah. It's an older game, and actually only costs us about $200, but, well, it's part of the arcade, sir. I expect this apparent billionaire to protest, but not getting his way, but he's smiling. Right, this is Mr. Mopey's home, after all. Let's compromise. I'll pay you a thousand dollars American and own this and own the game, but you keep it here. And in return, I get to play as long as I want, providing nobody's already paying. That way, I can keep chasing the score. But your arcade stays whole. I hate to break up a loving family. No one will be leave to hear that. Even if Gavin may flay me for passing up two grand, good. I need to make Naomi cry. Uh, how could I live with myself? Which leaves a rando hoping that. Uh, to be fair, we had been kind of ignoring that exist. What the bleh, man? What kind of arcade is this anyway? Bleh, this. I'm going to Deco's Palace. And we just lost the customer. Stomping his way out of the door. Stomp, stomp, stomp. On the plus side, Omi won't cry. On the negative side, I just drove a rando out into the cold. What a disappointing assignment. As for the player, well, he goes right back to playing, eating pellets, zapping ghosts, and clearing mazes. When the crisis behind us, I can actually focus on who this gonzo rich guy actually is. Taking it for someone walling around in the lower tax brackets, so rich can do whatever they want, whatever they want. And yet, that's not what this guy did. He could have, but he let us keep. But uh, he let us keep the game. He just wanted to play. That's all. Why? Because of Naomi? Because of the funplex? It's a home and a family for the games and for us. Maybe it's the best I sent that rando out the door in the favor of this guy. So you know Naomi? He's happy to talk even while playing. I'm a funplex regular. My name's Smith. I'd hazard you're our new floor attendant. Our. That's me, Captain Cheffy, Arcade Wrangler. Well then, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I look forward to getting to know you better. So, you've seriously been playing Mopey all day, huh? What can I say? It's my calling. I actually owned a music cabinet once. Had it in my flat. But playing it by myself, all alone in the dark, it's not the same. It's really the atmosphere. Uh, the beeps and boops? No, those you eventually learn to filter out. I mean... Everything. The games, the lights, the kids, the feel of it even in a new place. I try my best when I'm in real world conditions. It's all about the emotion. Laughter with kids, the excitement of competition. I need that swirling chaos of human emotion to help me stay at the fight. Naomi mm -hmm. gets that. He keeps mo she keeps Mopey in top condition for the day I eventually land my high score. Sorry. What's the current world record then? About three and a half million. This guy has been standing here since I was working the morning shift hours and hours, and he's still only at 720k into this game. Can't imagine him being in anything but top health condition try to try this. Guy's gotta have legs made out of carbon fiber and a bladder of tungsten. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just let a few extra lives drain out whenever I need to go pee. Uh, so he may be psychic. I feel like I should let him get back to this game, but for any questions, they burn like fire. Uh, if you don't mind me commenting on it, that's a lot of money you just have on your person. What do you do for a living? Uh, this and that. He doesn't really seem to care to talk about his work, not in a guarded way, he's just less interested than his current maze. Maybe he's actually the head of an international diamond smuggling ring to add the stones inside arcade games. Day trading. Huh? Day trading. Stocks. Bonds. Pro anybody can anybody can do it if they had a, uh, have a head for numbers. It's really nothing important. Or maybe he's a day trader. Don't think so. I don't feel people are defined in their work. I know that arcade is home for those who've may uh have made their passion into the work but it's the passion that matters more i have my passion the same as anyone i look forward to learning yours as well well i'm not deep in the middle of the game i mean he's getting more and more distracted by the game i should leave him be i have to do a thing about a thing 
Mm -hmm. Be seeing you, Miss Chaffee. Okay. Yeah, another weird encounter in a string of weird encounters. By the end of it, uh, he sounded more like a high school junkie you hear about in documentaries, except stripping and kind of straight. But that's like the impression I had of him from the beginning. He smiled when he talked about splitting, about not splitting up the arcade. There's something more going on here. But, well, he's a fun flex regular. There'll be plenty of time to learn more later. I've got work to do. Let's see what's to handle next. There's a lot of shouting coming from the center of an arcade where Fist of Discomfort is being played. I remember Iris telling me all about it earlier while I was bored to death at the ticket desk. Fists of Discomfort, or FOD, is one of the most popular games of the esports circuit. It's been a staple of the scene for over six years. One year, Team Wicked Prodigies took on the, un the Unreal and came back to win the dying seconds of a tiebreaker match to take home a record $5 million prize pot. That's a lot of moolah. And how? Okay, so how does it work? It's a hybrid of real-time strategy and button mash brawling. Fight your way down the top and bottom lanes, clearing waves and ninjas to finally topple the enemy dojo. But that's the action part. The strategy part involves using special abilities, purchase items, and ninja summons. FOD is sheer elegance in its simplicity, the way that different game systems interweave to form one masterpiece of esports perfection. So, summon good ninjas, punch bad ninjas, smash dojo. I'd say boiling down a rich game of action and strategy played played the world over by top gamers in such a way, it's a bit degrading, but sure, okay. <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> Actually, probably sure it is. So beautiful. Hello, gorgeous. Hold on. Hello. <laughs> Just gets to say. That's dope. I'm so excited. Sorry to meet you. Okay. Uh, okay. All of which is super interesting and stuff. I'm about to stop streaming soon, anyways. But uh, that's super awesome. But right now, all I care about is dealing with the loud mouth currently playing the game. The closer I get, the louder the yelling gets. Most of these words are that. No, those are definitely all words my mother would disapprove of. You've got to be fucking me. Sorry. There is no thing way that it's that is even plausible. Those hitboxes don't even ain't. I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna do it. Don't even fucking connect. Fuck this game. Fuck it all night long. <laughs> Get wrecked. This is far from over, scrub. I saved up a little something extra special for you. I've been baiting you into attacking my sensei, which you fell for hard. Oh, hey. Did I forget to mention that I brought an extra ultimate technique scroll from my dojo? Whoops, my B. Wait, what? You haven't even, you haven't been farming? How could XP share technique with creep wave? Take this. Fivefold. Fucking explosion death claw technique. I don't think it's supposed to be fucking, but whatever. What? How did, what? How did you defeat me? <laughs> no. Oh, gee, gee. <laughs> no one can defeat me, Queen B. Ooh. My dry eyes painfully blinking makes me realize I've been standing here watching intently during that whole exchange. I'm not 100% sure what just happened, but that didn't matter. I was completely sucked in. Couldn't tear my eyes away. It was like watching a train wreck. I mean, if the train was an arcade game and the wreck was the guy's face. Hey, kid. What are you staring at? Uh, Never seen a champion of my caliber before? Oh, why, uh... Seeing as I don't even know how to begin to start, even consider having a response to her question, I have to take a moment and collect my thoughts. When I've somehow gathered, she goes by Queen Bee. That jacket she's wearing identifies as a member of the L7 game. Ooh, an arcade esports team. And she's the most direct, fierce person I've met all day. 
That's saying a lot, considering I've run into so far. Nah, I'm just gonna say. With that level of excitement always gushing out, I can only imagine how much enjoyment she gets out of life. I don't think she's a sort of winner. It's just one of those, like, competitive natures. What can I say? People loving, uh, people love winning, It's and it seems like she wins a lot, at least between bursts of... What did I recall as? Saltiness. Hey, don't just stand there all weird and quiet-like. It's creepy. She snaps her fingers to grab my attention. So, are you gonna f***ing quarter her up or not? Oh, shit! <laughs> Think you can best the hottest rising star of L7? From what I've seen, I know I can best the scrub, let alone a professionally competitive player of this game. Nope. No, thank you. Plus, I'm not sure I'm allowed to play games while I'm working. You? Did you work here? Ooh, no. Uh, I'm just gonna go to neutral. You bet. In fact, I was just hired earlier. I'm the new floor attendant. If the game meets your quarter, come to me. Huh. Wait, you're serious. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> okay, then. Welcome aboard this one array train. I you a name tag yet. How am I supposed to know who you are? I think that was actually a weird tactic to have me introduce myself to her. I'm captain. I did technically just start working here six hours ago. It might take them a time to issue me a name tag. Maybe they need to send a carrier pigeon to an ancient mo monastery where name tags are forged in a vast clay oven. Nah. Nah, Gavin's just slacking big time. I'll turn back to that silly boy for you. Uh, make sure you get some proper respect. Uh, thanks. No problem. We're, we gamers gotta stick I'm together. I'm by the way. Aggro style FOV lane pusher specialist for L7 gaming. I figured that when you put your arms over your head cheered and chatted no one can defeat me queen bee hey i do not sound like that <laughs> well maybe a little <laughs> <laughs> she's kind of funny i like her anyway i'm one of the regulars around here besides pepper pepper and tio so you'll be seeing a lot of me in the future let's hope you last longer than the last guy oh great now she's even making my job into a competition there isn't a betting pool too you look like a smart kid you've seen one of many uh, one of my many streams on the internet. Uh... Nope. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Whoa. Really? Have you been living under a rock for the past decade? If you consider a small yet formable apartment a rock, then yes. Oh, you sweet child. You're so innocent and pure. Come, let me show you the paths of darkness that is the internet. Sure. Uh, well, it's part of my job to know all about the games here. If Queen Bee is going to give me some insight on the culture around this game, I should take advantage of that. Lead me further into the dark abyss, my mistress. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah. Queen Bee grabs my arm and puts me towards the abyss of discomfort cabinet. And upon further inspection, you see the whole haphazard pile of text she's rigged up. You can't just plug one of these cabs into the internet, so I use the number of clip-on webcams and mics and stuff. That webcam there, it broadcasts to my own personal PC back home, which then streams matches live to all my fans. The chat room appears on my phone. That's dope. So she has a setup that she goes and takes to an arcade. That's fucking interesting as shit. Costs a bit to put every uh, to put everything all together, and it takes like half an hour to rig it up and test each morning. But after doing this for a couple years, it's easy peasy. Aside from Naomi grinding her teeth at my clip-on camera and sandwiching the paint job, I mean. Anyway, I prefer to stream at the front flex than from home. There's so much to miss out on sitting by your lonesome with a console version of FOB. The crowds, the wicked trash talk, the community. Wait, are you broadcasting live right now? Are we live right now? No way. <laughs> Fuck no. That was part of my warm-up matches. I've got plenty, a pretty big tournament coming up, so I try to get as much practice in as possible. Even if it is a bunch of fodder, as in... Fod fodder, as in, you know, chum, lunch meat, scrubs, losers. Got the idea, yes. Queen Bee sees something out of the corner of her eye and glances around the arcade floor. She gives a nod to someone hanging near the Street Fighter cabinet. Ah, my crew is starting to trickle in. We should start team, uh, we should start team practice soon. Wait, what? What time is it? At the tone? At the tone, the time will be 2.25 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Fuck! I gotta go live in five minutes. <laughs> Listen, kid, it's been twelve. Let's chat later, right? 
sure. Uh, one thing, can you get this ring down a little, at least a little? We've got kids around here, and I don't want to get in trouble with Gavin. Him? Meh. But for you, I'll keep it PG-13 rating. Now, if you excuse me, there are some butts out there that I need to kick later. Nice. Be friends with her. And with a wave and a twirl, she completely abandons, abandons me and returns to her fist of com discomforting. She fires up her broadcasting rig, and the shouting and milder, milder swearing starts up again. I should probably get out of here before I accidentally end up on the stream. Passion seems to run deep in this arcade. Everyone's spirit burning with passion for, well, various things. But hey, passion's passion. She seems to me like... Uh, she's, uh, she seems to like me, which will make my job easier in the long run. There's a huge FOD community in this arcade, despite being a tiny strip mall joint. Good to know. Let's see what they handle next. <coughs> my bad. In the distance, I see a number of people gathering, which is surprising, since the first half of my shift is completely utter solitude. <gasps> oh, look at your camera! Whoa! That's dope, Michael. That's dope! Okay, sorry. Alright. Uh, I see a number of people gathering, which is surprising since the first time my ship was completely under shelter. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to see what that people do come to the arcade, but that's quite the crowd that's assembling. Like, larger than Queen Bee's team was rowdier, too. Um, this has to be the against some fire code or safety protocol or something, right? Speaking as a citizen that enjoys living, having an escape route in case of emergency is necessary. Time to clear the way, pave my own path for safety. As I approach, I see flashing neon lights accompanied by upbeat Euro pop drops. Drifts, sorry. It's an auditory flashback right to 1980X. I can't help but nod my head to the beat. I literally am doing that. <laughs> a pulsating mass of people are surrounded showtime shape cheering on the current player. The game itself takes a whole corner of the arcade to require a fair amount of space to actually play. Showtime stage is an ultra-modern arcade smash hit. It uses motion tracker se tracking sensors hidden behind the colored spotlights to check dance pose ac dance pose accuracy and sweet and score uh, and score your sweet moves. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. It's pure dance fever. Can you catch a fever, Captain? I had my dance fever shots at the doctor's office earlier this season. As the dance ends, uh, one of the players hops down from the stage and immediately starts talking to a young man leaning up against the back wall. Did you see that, Tio? I got my first AA on Stop the Beat. Yeah, you did. You're doing great. Remember last month you couldn't even pass that song? Totes impressive. I'm going to keep practicing and one day maybe even surpass you. <laughs> and I hope you do. And when you do, you can be the one who brings in new dancers and teaches them how to play. As the next song starts, my eyes shift from their conversation to observe the gyration and intricate lip movements coming from Showtime stage. I feel my head bobble, my foot tapping. Hey, it's a really catchy song, can you blame me? Get really into it when I feel a hand on my shoulder. Care to join? How about you? Wanna take on wanna take a spotlight? Uh what I'm not one for dancing with strangers, you know what dancing leads to me falling on my face in front of all these people. Either that or one of my customers enjoying a trip to the emergency room with a shattered foot. I'd rather not horribly embarrass myself right now. I can't dance, so that's why I did that. Hey guys, sorry about the abrupt ending. It's just that I live streamed this, and I'm trying to do 30 minute segment videos just so I can put this on the YouTube page, and you guys can get a full playthrough of the game. I'm trying not to cut out anything, so sorry if I miss something. I will probably go back or something like that. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Again, I want to say thank you to Arcade Spirits for letting me play their game early. And if you guys want your own copy, then make sure you go ahead and go buy it. Because it's now available for the Xbox One, PS4, and now the Nintendo Switch. Today, May 1st, Friday, like right now. Go buy it. I don't know what you're waiting for. But I hope you guys enjoy And I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will come out tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I just want to say that this is your Captain Chippy speaking. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.